Word has a tool that lets you build an automatic table of contents and table of authorities. When you click in the example I have here, you can tell that it's been automatically generated because it highlights in gray. Same thing with the table of authorities. When you click in the cases here, it shows you that it highlights in gray, meaning that it's been generated automatically with codes and the same thing with the statutes. I have a really short legal pleading that will show you how it works. Let's do the table of contents first. We need to click on the styles selector so I can choose some styles. These styles right here, heading 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is what makes it all work. These have been set up to automatically format the headings and let us build the table of contents. So here's the first heading level. That's a heading 1. Automatically formats it, numbers it. Same thing with the second one. Here's a heading level 2. I'll just click on the style, automatically numbers it and formats it. Uh, that's also a heading level 2. Back to a heading level 1. So you go through the whole document and this whole document's already been formatted the rest of the way through. You see these other headings. Here's some lower level. Here's a third level heading and, and a fourth level heading. So once we've got these all, all these heading levels set, we can go back to the um, table where the table of contents goes. I'll scroll up there real quick and I click underneath it and then I insert the table of contents and this is the easy part and you can pick how many levels it we could go up to five and then you just do OK and it puts in the table of contents and it numbers it too. So anything that changes later on will be automatically adjusted. So now let's take a look at how to do the table of authorities. So to do the table of authorities, you go, to, you, you locate the authorities in the document and you highlight them and you do something called mark citation. So I'll highlight that case, click on the mark citation, and then we have an option to do cases or statutes. This is a case, so I'll go ahead and mark it. When you do that, it puts in a code, and you can see that code here in the background. If I click right there, there's the code. And it also is showing you the codes in your document. I'll do this other one. I'll slide this out of the way, highlight this statute, okay, and then I'll mark that statute. Now this is different. It's not a case. It's a statute, so we want to mark it as a statute. And I've gone through and done all of the other statutes already, so that's been done. Now it's time to generate the table of authorities. I'll go back up to this page, click right here, and we will insert our table of authorities. We can do both the cases and the statutes, or we can do them separately. I'll just do them separately. I'll click on cases and OK, and it generates our cases. And then I could put in the statutes right underneath it or on another page. Similarly, I just click here, statutes, and it puts it in. Often you need to format the table of contents and table of authorities differently than Word automatically does it. And there are customizations that you can do at the end to format it differently.